One of the things I found very interesting when I was doing my research was that there's a series of tools that the entrepreneurs all use. And it started to be uh, feeling like there's a club. There's a sense that they all know something others don't. And so I've documented what those tools are because I believe that if you know what they are, you know what other people are using and that those tools are working, go straight to those tools. Why waste time uh, trying other things when people have already proven these things work? So for example, when you're building a website, it's such a complex task now that if you get it wrong, you, you may not know it's wrong until you've actually paid money and, and got the website up. So for example, there's all these different platforms that you can use and people often ask me, what platform should I use? And it will say, I'll say, well, it depends on what you're trying to do. But I can tell you, for example, the top few platforms that my entrepreneurs use are things like WordPress, uh, Magento, uh, it might be uh, Wix or Weebly, it might be Drupal, it might be Shopify. Um, all those website platforms do different things. So for example, for, for a small business, just starting out a, maybe a lifestyle business, Wix and Weebly are fine. But if you're doing a major shopping um, website, then Magento is probably a better site for you. Um, the beauty of some of those programs and software builders is that they're free and you can get them out of the box and start using them with no cost. If you want to customise them, obviously there's a cost to that, but it's very cheap to get started. A lot of those packages would have cost you $10,000 five years ago, um, just at the get-go. So uh, these website builders are very, very powerful and very helpful, and it's good to know what other people are using before you, you know, make that choice. Things like your CRM, your Customer Relationship Management Program, very important to track all your data, keep track of all your customers. Things like MailChimp, Amasis, Infusionsoft. Um, again, depend on the size of your business, how many people you have on your database. But it's very important to choose that because it's integral to how you communicate with your customers. Um, things like testing, A-B testing, working out which offers are working uh, is something all the entrepreneurs uh, take very seriously. And they use tools like Google Optimize or Visual Website Optimizer. So there's lots of um, tools out there that you can just have a look online. Look at the videos. They're three minutes. You can actually do a masterclass in marketing just by watching the videos of these companies. Things like user testing, um, usertesting.com, for example, is a really popular website that helps people work out how are their customers using the website? What are their thoughts? What are their feelings? Is it easily um, uh, nav navigatable, <laughs> if that's a word? So this usertesting.com is a really powerful website that helps people work out how their customers mm -hmm. are using their website. So. Um, things like customer service. You can actually have a whole host of people helping you with your customer service and you don't have to employ anybody. You can outsource it using a virtual company like Live Chat or Zendesk and any email that is received by your company can be picked up by them. The phone calls can be picked up by them. The live chat can be managed by them. You uh, pay for the, the time that you use. So it's a very cost efficient way rather than hiring tons of staff. So there's just a couple of tools that um, these entrepreneurs have used with great success that will help you build your online business a little more quickly.